Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny and we're going to test out a new demo today. We've been doing that a lot on the channel, you know, trying new games, checking out new stuff, which is cool. It keeps things interesting for me. And of course, I love to try everything and it's a ridiculous addiction and my backlog is huge and I'll never get to it, but whatever. So this is the Contra Rogue Corpse demo. Uh, it is actually available on the Japanese eShop, so you got to make like a Japan account with a different email to download it. If you're not in that region, you can find guides on that everywhere. Um, this game is set to be released on the 24th of September, 2019. This is a Konami joint. And of course, I saw that they announced a new full Contra game. And I haven't looked at it a lot, but hopefully it's awesome and pleases the Contra fans. This particular game and the demo is not pleasing the fans, but I did pre-order it, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. Actively launching a missile. Good, so far. Blowing up dudes, I like that. So we can see here the switch is already showing its colors with a... Uh, the little low res textures there, lots of jaggies. That's been the number one number one complaint of everyone I've seen talk about this, right? Is it kind of looks like doo doo. They're not wrong. But that just because the game doesn't look the greatest doesn't mean it's not fun. Okay. So we're we got a twin twin sticks here, no camera control. Can blow up that. Okay, you can jump, you can dash. Uh, B or L is jump, we're jumping. We're jumping and getting nowhere. Okay, let's jump on the truck. Let's be smart here. Frag all the things. <laughs> we will do that. Alright, music is cool. Okay, so we get our dash. What's our other? Okay, dash and jump. Okay. Oh wow, we actually punch stuff at the end of it. That's good. So you can just totally get in the heat of battle, dude. Done. So I like that there's two, two jump buttons. Because it feels a lot more natural to push B for me. Okay. Wow, can we actually shoot any of these things? Oh, I let my gun overheat. So, one of the other big complaints that people have had is that there's these extra mechanics, right? I guess, you know, traditionally in Contra, you're just shooting until your eyes bleed. Um, but here you're gonna actually think about it, and apparently major Contra fans don't like to think about it. But I can definitely see where they're coming from with the textures. It's pretty, pretty low res on that man, and the character model. I mean, look, my, my little beam there just sits there attached to my body. That's just kind of lazy. Okay. So that one overheats too, but it takes a lot off the bar to use it. So let's keep going. Oh, lots of guys to explode here. But I love this gaming style, dude. I love the whole twin stick shooter blow up stuff and stuff drops all over the place. It reminds me a lot of like, you know, Diablo, Torchlight, that kind of thing. Um. So, I actually kind of think this is pretty fun. It reminds me uh, kind of of Tiny Troopers too, right? The super... Super hyped and rare physical edition that people were having. Oh, I got a bomb. You guys ever see, um... Oh my god, the movie with Bruce Willis, Steve Buscemi, uh, you know, the guy who 
plays Batman. I can't remember the name of right now. Oh, we can dodge. You know, Steven Tyler does the song to it. My god, why can't... Oh god, there's a car there. Ooh, I can pick this up. We're gonna throw this down. Oh, we're not. We were. We were gonna throw it down. Now we are not. Oh man, I let my gun overheat. Not good. Can I switch weapons and it'll... Oh, oh, okay. Pro tip. You can switch weapons. Uh, while one is... Is, um... Overheated. That's pretty good. There we go. We got some hearts. Shield charge. I do wish you ran faster. The speed could definitely be a little better. And you slow way down when you target. I mean, it makes sense, but it's just not as arcadey as you want. Okay, we're just gonna jump up here. Yeet these boys. Pretty easy standard stuff. They're nonsense. Okay, so I think these are like, what, checkpoints? Yeah. Okay, these guys are kind of... Let's try to dash through. Okay. That guy just flew at my screen. That was kind of cool. Very virtual cop, too. I smashed and grabbed. Oh, okay. So this is the classic spread gun. Uh, one of the other complaints besides the graphics was that this shit's on a timer, right? The spread gun thing. So, like, when you get power-ups and stuff, you don't have them forever. And that really seemed to bother some people. I won't be naming names. But dang. Some people were just not happy with how this played out. Okay, I really need some shields, thank you. Uh, it's time to use the bomb? Yep, set us up the bomb, please. I do love that. Okay, maybe we should have held it. Oh, you, you look like you might need some misses. Okay, that's doing nothing for me here. My gun is overheated. Oh, because I had missiles on. Oh, I can just dash through that guy. Easy. Oh, good. Now we're getting, like, totally clutched by a bunch of snipers. That's fine. We're just gonna dash through. Smack that boy. Okay, the dash. Dash is your friend, dude. Those iframes. So good. Totally worth it. You'll want to master that. So, like I said, I did, I did pre-order this game. I think we can use this big ass tank over here. Whoa, we're strong as hell. Okay, dude, that was really cool. I like that. That was really neat. <laughs> All right. Picking up all the things. Nothing else here? What's, is there something over here? A little secrety, perhaps? Ooh, that's a bomb. Ooh, now I have two bombs. This looks like we might be up on a boss fight here. We don't need codes. Wow, he said the F word. I will just shoot down this fucker. End quote. So, what kind of stuff can I pick up, then? Boxes, yeah. You pick those up. Can throw it at the gate. Or I can just shoot that fucker, end quote. Alright. So, what are you boys? Oh! I died. Did I die? Oh, man, it's like tremors in here. So do I have 31 lives, so it doesn't matter if I die or not? Is that what I'm seeing there? Or is that my actual health? That's my actual health. I don't know how many lives I have. Hopefully infinite, since it's a demo. Okay. That's insta-death. Mistake. Okay. Need, need more shields now, please? I got distracted. Forgot what I was talking about before. 
Okay, so let's just get in this with no fight, okay? Oh, boss fight with no life. This is cool. Whoa. He's got some big old tatties. Look at that. Here's my plan. I'm going to actively uh, just ride all of these rockets. Oh, yeah. I was talking about the Bruce Willis uh, Steve Buscemi movie with uh, Steven Tyler. Uh, and he's like, they're mining that asteroid. And he's like, just need to feel the power between my, like, my legs, brother. And then the dude's like, get off the nuclear warhead. Oh, I died. Hey, I'm alive again. Look at that. I mean, obviously, I should be, uh, you know, paying attention. I Oh, I have a power up here. So if I push R... Oh, so... So R does what? Okay, so R has me shoot out those things. So we're going to switch to our missiles here. So they kind of overheat. Why not? Done. That guy looked way too much like me with my shirt off. Feelings, dude. Hurts a little bit. See, that guy looks pretty freaking awesome. Why couldn't they just make the whole game look like that? Whoa. Fuck it up fast. Actively fucking it up fast? Yep. Well, I, I pushed the button, but nothing happened. I don't think he... That's it? I don't get to fight that guy. What a turd. Okay. Do I get to oh, I get to play as a panda? Meet the rogue corpse. Okay. So the big draw for me is the multiplayer because my buddy Scott on Twitter told me about it. And this game looks like it could be really fun with multiple people. Wow, we didn't get to experience any of those mechanics. The game kind of did itself a disservice by not letting you fight the boss. In the demo, I mean. By not letting you fight the boss not letting you experience any of the, the customization options. So yeah, people are gonna be pissed about it if all they can look at is like the graphics and some of the gunplay. So Best Buy had a pre-order bonus. If you pre-ordered this game, it's like, it's a cheapie. It's like 40 bucks. You get a 10 or 40 or 30 bucks or something like that. And you get a $10 reward certificate. So, I still have the GCU, so I pre-ordered it, you know, immediately. And after playing this demo, I feel like Mori Povich going to reveal, you know, who's the father. Like, I got my card, right? Let me just take a look. After playing the demo, I have decided... I'm going to keep the pre-order. <laughs> That was pretty fun. It'll be way fun playing with Scott and anybody else on, you know, Twitter, whoever watches this. Friend codes are everywhere. Twitter, YouTube about stuff. Uh, yeah, dude, let's hook up. Let's blow some shit up. And uh, to quote my favorite eye in the sky, uh, you know, we're going to kill some uh, uh, fuckers. Yeah, I mean, fudgers. This is a family establishment. But, hey. That's the Contra Rogue Core demo. 100% uh, people are going to just slam it into the ground from the graphics and completely ignore how fun it actually is because they might be stuck on that old school what Contra should be and not really like this little, little, little bit of a new direction. But what is cool is that 
This is good practice for Darksiders Genesis, which will also be a bit of a twin sticky thing, but with all the characters from Darksiders. Well, it's just War and uh, one of his bros. I can't remember which one. Death, maybe? No, it's the fourth horseman. Pestilence? I don't remember. Darksiders Genesis will be awesome as well. Looking forward to that. Uh, anyway, hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will see you guys in whatever else I'm doing on here. We got the Minecraft. We got Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Uh, I'm staring at uh, my box of games and there's a ton in there. But what I would really like to dig back into is Torchlight and Blasphemous. So maybe the goal for me is to just, I just need to bang out, bang out Marvel Ultimate Alliance. That way I can start playing Torchlight and Blasphemous. And I'm pretty close, so we'll see. But I've rambled too much. Thank you for sticking around and uh, take care.